Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together Cleos and Sadie in holy matrimony. This is an honorable estate instituted by God and signifying unto us the mystical union which exists between Christ and his church. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and with the approval of God. It is into this holy estate these two persons come now to be joined. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you. They are being held by yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other for the rest of your lives. These are also the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future and share your innermost dreams and secrets together. These are the very hands that will passionately love you and cherish you throughout the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief threaten to overwhelm you. These are the hands that will wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. Well, for as much as Cleos and Sadie have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God in this company, and thereto have pledged their faith each to the other, and have declared the same by joining hands and by giving and receiving rings. I pronounce that they are husband and wife together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Those whom God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Amen. Cleos, you may kiss your beautiful bride. There comes a time in everyone's life where they meet their soulmate, the one they want to be with for the rest of their lives. That day came for Cleo 17 years ago when he met me. Unfortunately for him, I wasn't interested, so Sadie was a great second choice. But uh, in all seriousness, the connection between these two is unexplainable. Uh, they're truly the definition of best friends. Uh, they have the same sense of humor, taste in TV shows, and hatred for most people. I'm over the moon that Cleos has found someone they can spend the rest of his life with. Sadie and Cleos are getting a smart, funny, loyal, and genuine man who's always been there for me through thick and thin. I'm truly to have a best friend in Cleos, and I'm happy that you get to marry such a wonderful person. To Cleos and Sadie, here's, time, here's to a lifetime of happiness and love.